Hey guys, thanks for watching. Maria Mitchell here. Today we're going to learn how to face paint this pretty lady beetle or ladybug design. It's one of my favorites. A lot of little girls love it. Um, and it's super easy to whip up if you are using star blend powders. To begin, I've got my Star Blends Red and I've got my Smoothie Blender or Sponge Applicator, Lollipop Applicator, and I've just worked my way through the powder to pick up a generous amount of that powder. So I want to start right at the corner of my eye here and I'm going to make way right up past the eyebrow, bring that red right up into a bit of a slant here and then bringing it right down and then filling in that whole area. Getting right in there between the eye and the bridge of the nose. With a nice amount generally loaded again. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to smooth on that powder. The beauty of these smoothie blender um, powders and applying with, with um, star blends or, or face painting powders is that we can get right close to the eye and not worry about having any wet paint too close to the eye. It's also good to use the round shape of the um, smoothie blender to get those rounded areas in, in perfect shape. So I'm just rotating it to that point direction in a downward direction that's giving me a nice curve. I'm just going to do a like a curved V and then a round section along here for the lady beetle's body. With that same brush I'm just going to do some flicks outward pointing down almost and that'll be lady beetles little legs and then for lady beetles head I'm just using the same brush and I'm going to do a little arch and then join it up with a bottom curve so it almost looks like a little jelly bean lady beetles antennas so with the tip of my brush nice and light and then bringing it right down. Now before I outline I just want to get my spots in. So I've just heavily loaded my number four round brush and I'm just going to make some nice pretty dots almost in a polka dot pattern. If you have your, your brush nicely loaded with almost watery paint will be able to achieve a good perfect circle for your spots. They don't always come out perfectly. Just give it your best shot. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Now I've just switched over to a number two round brush just for the outlining of the wings. just with the tip of our number two round brush. You can use a number four just using the tip of the brush or a number three round brush. It doesn't really matter. If you're in a rush you don't really have to change to a number three round brush or a number two round brush. Just by using the tip of your brush nicely loaded you'll be able to achieve those nice fine lines. Now with that same number two round brush loaded with some white I'm just going to do some highlights. on Lady Beetle's head. Just finishing off with another line, nice and fine, just above the eyebrows. Now I've just loaded up a small petal brush and I've double dipped it. So I've loaded up with some Superstar White and I've dipped the tip of it into some purple and I'm just gonna make some pretty petals just coming out.
I've just loaded up my half inch short angled brush with some leaf white by tag and I'm just gonna make some pretty leaves pointing downward. So brush flat and then around curving in to an edge. Curving flat brush and then tipping it to the point. Flat brush and then tipping it to a point. I'm just going to do half one. So curving and out and on the other side. With these leaves, I do like to bring some brush strokes downward like that. Just with my brush nicely loaded, I'm going to um, do some dots going inward. And there you have it, a really simple lady beetle design for you to practice. I'd love to see yours, so please tag me if you post any photos. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Until next time, happy painting. Thanks for watching. If you got something out of this, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any face painting related questions or you need something that you need clarified, make sure you comment down below and I'll do my absolute best to share my knowledge with you in the next video. I'm on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to follow me so we don't miss each other for the next one. Until next time, happy painting.